Hello, welcome to the new auto test of the uh, Gepetto Royce H2O uh, Aviax. So I will try to how handle how is working this uh, uh, cruise mode when you have pre to press this button, recording the last 40 seconds and probably playing in rewind action uh, the uh, your last 40 seconds. So okay, I will engage. You have four speed mode available on this um, uh, right shoulder button. Let's him go. So in medium mode it's a little bit windy today, so I will try to go directly in the more sporty mode. Yes, the wind is coming from my back, so as you can see the counter range seems uh, not bad. not very powerful into the wind okay I replay so let's see if I pressing the cruise button where it go okay Oof. Oof. <laughs> Funny. Okay, I will make a new demo. So this time I will directly engage uh, the cruise mode from my uh, takeoff position. So I will make some basic movement, just uh, full forward. Okay. Okay. Let's see on the right. Let's see now on the left. Okay. And I will press now cruise mode. Not very working. Eh? I will engage the sport mode to to be sure. Flips up tight. The yaw is uh, still rather slow, but it's a stable flyer for sure. It it's. Uh, Pushing the throttle to 51 meters before two flips, you know, to be sure to not lose some altitude. Yeah. You can see the wind is very strong, and uh, we'll be up to the wind will be more, much faster. But so I will try to resist. Even in the sport mode, it's so, not so fast. Okay, I will try to engage the cruise mode. Where's go? Okay, you yeah, record. Uh, it's very hard to um, to know how it's working these features. Okay, I will land. I'm pressing the cruise mode. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Oop, uh, oh my god, I have to retake control. <laughs> it's very hard to record your last 40 seconds. Maybe you have to wait or to restart your quadcopter to be sure of your action. Well, it's not so an amazing feature, it's more a gadget in my point of view because it's very hard to control, you, maybe you need a lot of training, probably. It's not a bad quadcopter, the uh, radio frequency ship is an LT8910 so the data rate is much uh, slower but in, in paradoxically it's a good idea because you don't need a, an amazing 1 megabyte uh, data rate to transmit uh, six control and uh, so usually the radio frequency ship used in toys are dedicated more to transmit video or audio so the bandwidth associated with the radio control is rather narrow so you don't need such uh, that data speed so it's a good idea to gain some distance to reduce the data speed as uh, the uh, LT9 10 is doing so I can see uh, Right, control range is pretty good. And, uh, okay, oh, it's not very powerful quadcopter. You don't feel a lot of power. I don't know if you can perform manual flip. No, I don't think so. It, it's a toy, it's a basic toy. So up to the wind, it's very rather slow. Up to, I'm fighting the wind, as you can see.
this razor. Okay, I think I reach LVC alarms now. You can see the LED flashing. Okay, I will land. You have something like five, six minutes of flying duration, not so much more. Let's go. Cool.